From burrowing bot flies to grasshopper looking bugs the size of your head, here are some of the world's creepiest insects. Number 12, wolf spider. Wolf spiders are one of the largest species of spider and can grow up to four inches. They are quite unusual in many ways and do not spin webs unlike most species. Instead, they like to wait inside burrows to hunt their prey. They can jump to great heights and run very fast, hunting more like a mammal than an insect hence their name. The thing that makes them truly creepy though is the way they look after their young. They like to build a silken pouch called a spinneret around their abdomen. They carry their young with them till they grow to a decent size. A close-up view of one of these spiders often reveals a swarming nest of smaller spiders, which is super, super creepy. Wolf mothers can hold up to 100 babies at once. If you freak out when you see one, be careful about trying to squash it. These spiders are incredibly fast and a poorly timed hit will often just result in an explosion of smaller spiders, which will climb all over you. Number 11, the giant weta bug. Cruelly named the god of ugly things, this New Zealand native has a reputation as one of the world's creepiest bugs. There are around 70 different species of weta, but the giant weta is one of the world's biggest insects. The weta are very ancient, a product of time when the world's atmosphere was more oxygen rich, which caused the bugs to get a lot larger. These armored cricket-like creatures get up to huge sizes and when fully grown are the size of a gerbil. They also weigh three times more than a mouse or a small bird. They use their chunkiness to throw their weight around when they get into fights. These huge bugs have giant mandibles and they get into scraps fairly often over female insects. Typically, the loser's legs are ripped off by the victor. Nonetheless, they are reasonably friendly towards people, although people do not always appreciate that. Number 10, the giant silkworm assassin caterpillar. These strange and creepy caterpillars from Brazil come in many colors and can be identified by their Christmas tree-like appearance covered in clusters of tiny spines. This slow-moving alien-like creature doesn't look that dangerous, but a gentle brush against its larva spines can kill an adult human. It's the world's deadliest caterpillar. Their larva secretes a toxin which can cause a gangrene-like effect in humans. Their tiny spines are razor sharp and can easily pierce human skin. The toxin prevents the blood from clotting, which can cause catastrophic bleeding. When the venom reaches the brain, it often causes massive hemorrhaging and eventually death. They do serve a purpose, however. They are so dangerous that trees they live in remain untouched by other animals who would normally destroy them. Some refer to them as the deadly guardians of the rainforest. Number nine, the giant Amazonian centipede. Many species of giant centipede live in the Amazon basin. Attracted to the warmth and moisture, centipedes can grow up to huge sizes here. The giant Amazonian centipede is the worst and most disturbing of them all. It doesn't just look gross, it is also carnivorous and likes to eat the flesh of small mammals. With 46 legs, this bug can reach up to 35 centimeters, about the length of a grown man's arm. They coil their extremely long bodies around their prey and administer their poisonous bite. Their gross claw-like legs are not just for walking on. They use them to grip hold of the creatures which they consume. These bugs move incredibly fast and are surprisingly agile hunters. They are big enough to eat mice and frogs and they've been filmed eating small snakes. These bugs can strip the flesh from a small mammal within an hour. They also like to eat their own skin, so that's nice. If you do venture into the rainforest, beware. They like to slip into backpacks and often hitch rides with people who travel there. Number eight, the Emperor Scorpion. The Emperor Scorpion is the world's largest scorpion. These massive scorpions come from West Africa and are amazing survivors. And while they only live six to eight years in the wild, they have been known to live up to 25 years in captivity. Armed with huge crushing claws and a venomous stinger, the Emperor Scorpion goes into a special aggressive stance when provoked. Its venom causes paralysis, perfect for disabling its larger prey, mice and lizards. In humans, its sting can cause a painful burning sensation. Its claws are powerful, strong enough to rip apart the armor of other scorpions. These guys like to fight each other, but they also like to romantically hold hands. Scorpions are known for being highly diligent mothers. Female emperors can carry up to 30 little baby scorpions on their backs. These babies are milky white and look like little ghosts. Perhaps unsurprisingly, it is unwise to bother a mother scorpion protecting her baby youngsters, not just because you will get stung, but because their brood will attack you as well. Number seven, Brahmin moth caterpillar. Probably one of the most eccentric looking creatures on the planet, the Brahmin moth caterpillar has an amazing alien-like antenna and a colorful body. Its five curly black spindles protrude strangely in all directions and look like demonic feelers. These little guys are actually pretty rare 
and not much is known about them. There is some debate over what this bug's crazy spindles are even for. Some believe they are for defense, or to feel around, or maybe they just like to show off. These insects are typically found in Asia, quietly feeding off bitter plants and hedgerows. They look more like they belong in a heavy metal rock band. They also make amazing moths when they finally transform, known for their magnificent, stripy, tiger-like patterns. Number six, botflies. Botflies initially look like cute little fuzzy bumblebees, but the way they lay their eggs is absolutely horrifying. These little insects only live nine to 12 days, and in that time, their only goal is to eat and lay their eggs inside of an unsuspecting animal. Some like to infest the guts of the creature they live in, but most, including the version that is attracted to humans, predominantly live under the skin. Unlike other insects, which lay their larvae inside of dead bodies, the botfly lays its eggs in the skin of living things, including humans. These larvae stay in the bodies in their host for about three months, during which time they eat away at their flesh of the animal or person they live inside. When the larva is fully mature, it bursts through the host's skin in a cluster, like something from a horror movie. These massive maggots reach quite large sizes, and although they will not kill you, they often make enormous gaping wounds in people's skin. They are most commonly found across South America. There are many stories of people who have traveled to Latin America on vacation and come back with strange lumps moving under their skin. Number five, Saddleback Caterpillar. Perhaps one of the strangest creatures in all creation, the saddleback caterpillar resembles a sea anemone with a bright green horse's saddle on its back. These weird creatures spend most of their time in sunny Mexico and have started to migrate to the US. Their tiny faces resemble a black skull with orange tufts coming out of it. That's pretty badass. If this wasn't weird enough, they often look even stranger due to the creatures that attack them. Unfortunately for the caterpillar, they are popular with the braconid wasps who like to attach their parasitic larva to the creature's back. The saddleback is not typically dangerous, but it does have several methods of irritating you. It likes to charge at its enemies with its strange furry horns, releasing its tiny hairs as it does so. These hairs contain venom, which is poisonous to humans and can cause nausea and rashes on the skin. The hairs must be removed immediately to slow the spread of the toxin. Some people do actually have pretty severe allergic reactions to them, leading to asphyxiation and death. They also like to secrete a sticky liquid because their excessively short legs are bad at holding onto things. This means they end up stuck to gardeners' clothes, hair, and faces, you name it. Number four, tailless whip scorpion. These crazy looking creatures are basically scorpions on stilts. They look like a cross between a crab and a spider and have freakishly long legs and get up to huge sizes. There are many variations on this species of bug and the giant whip spider has the longest legs of all, which can grow up to a ridiculous 27 inches long. They have hilariously long arms with crab-like pinchers they use to feel their way around a room. In case you were wondering, these bugs are neither spiders or scorpions in spite of their respective name, although they are a form of arachnid. There are 155 different species of whip scorpion, and they are one of the oldest known animals on Earth, which may explain their freaky, prehistoric appearance. They also like to shed their skin similar to snakes and hold their babies on their backs like other scorpions and spiders. Like crabs, they move sideways and scuttle quite close to the ground looking for prey. These guys have pretty big spikes on their arms, which they brandish aggressively if you get in their way. They only come out at night if you're looking to catch one which you probably aren't. In spite of their freaky appearance, they do not actually harm humans. They are also very gentle with their chosen mates, who they like to affectionately stroke with their unsightly claws. In fact, there are even stories on the internet of people who have tried to tame them and experience the gentle caresses of the friendly whip scorpion for themselves. Still a no for me, dog. Number three, Giant Japanese Hornet Japan is home to the Godzilla of wasps, the giant hornet. These giant bugs have a wingspan of up to three inches and have received the nickname murder hornets. These insects are bright orange in case you couldn't spot them from their huge size. Their sting is deadly and can cause organ failure in grown adults. Other bees and wasps can only sting once before dying, but giant hornets can sting you as many times as they like should you get in their way. It's not unusual for unfortunate victims to get stung hundreds of times. The toxin they contain in their sting is powerful enough to eat away at human flesh, and for survivors, it often causes kidney problems later in life. In Japan, they like to nest in and around Mount Fuji in particular, and many walkers on their holidays have fallen afoul of a giant hornet nest. To many people's horror, they are extremely aggressive, and it's not unusual to see folks running at full speed away from swarms of them in Japan. 
These bugs like to nest underground, so unfortunately, you may step on a nest without realizing it. These guys look especially disturbing whilst hatching out of their honeycomb cocoons. They have recently migrated to North America in case the US didn't have enough problems. Bizarrely, baby hornets are actually a delicacy in Japan and the larva can be enjoyed fried or baked as a snack. Eat up America. Number two, the Create Notos Ganges moth. Not everyone likes moths, but most of them are pretty innocent looking. The Create Notos Ganges, however, looks as if it was released from hell itself. This weird insect has four inflatable scent glands it shoots out of its butt when it wants to investigate things. These glands are covered in tiny vibrating hairs, which are also quite gross. Once fully inflated, their tube-like appendages are longer than the rest of their bodies, and they look a bit like devil's horns. The male's hairy tentacles pulse in order to release some sweet moth pheromones that they use to entice the females. When they want to go incognito, they look completely normal. Frightened, unsuspecting observers have described watching in horror as this tiny moth slowly has unfolded into an otherworldly demon. They are originally from Asia, but have started to move to Australia, scaring the life out of people who are unfamiliar with them. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number one, Goliath bird-eating spider. The Goliath bird-eating spider is the scariest tarantula in the world. This enormous spider weighs up to six pounds and can be almost a foot long. They're too big to hold in your hand. Not that you'd want to do that. They don't actually usually eat birds, although they can. The name was inspired by their huge size. Normally, they eat mice, snakes, and frogs, which is just as horrifying. They eat their prey by liquidating them from the inside and sucking their juices out. Fortunately, their venom is not harmful to humans. Their fangs are enormous, and they do occasionally bite people. More dangerous than their bite are the hair they flick at people in self-defense. These incredibly fine fibers can get stuck under the skin and are exceedingly difficult to get out. Although they are normally just irritating, they can be very dangerous if they get into your eyes or around your mouth. One of the most unnerving things about these creatures is unlike other spiders, they make noise. They like to hiss at people when they feel threatened and are so loud that they can be heard from almost 15 feet away. A giant hissing spider? Mm, no thank you. In parts of South America, people actually catch and eat them. Reports suggest they taste a lot like crabs. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these creepy insects? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.